Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet? What's a tuffet? Eating her curds and whey. She was eating ricotta out of a bowl on a tuffet. And then something happened with a spider? I don't know. Hey everyone. Welcome to the Leopard Lodge. I'm Liv and today we are making fresh ricotta. Step one, make a cocktail. The old fashioned, a classic among classics. When you just wanna drink straight whiskey, but you wanna feel classier than that, probably my favorite cocktail of all time. We are gonna use an ounce and a half of rye, a couple dashes of Angostura bitters, one sugar cube, and an orange peel, and some ice. That's it. No smashing oranges, no smashing cherries, no smashing mint, because that's a mint julep, no seltzer. That's also not in an old fashioned. You're doing it wrong. I'm sorry. Anyway, let's make this. All right. You're gonna take your sugar cube, plop it in, a couple dashes of our Angostura bitters, kind of like my little extra bitter. One and a half ounces of rye. You can use bourbon. If you're using other stuff, just don't tell me about it. Yeah. Give that a little swirl before you put the ice in. You wanna make sure the sugar is all the way dissolved. I have these lovely large ice cubes. You can make this directly in your glass but I like to be fancy. I'm just gonna give this a little uh, twirl for about 20 seconds. We don't wanna over stir it because it will get too saturated by water, but we don't want it to be too alcoholic and boozy, and we want it to be cold. A nice little trick that a bartender friend, shout out to you, Shane, taught me is to put your finger outside of the glass, and when it gets cold, you know it's ready. We do not shake spirit forward cocktails. What is a spirit forward cocktail, you ask? It is a cocktail that doesn't have any citrus in it. This cocktail only has spirits. A Manhattan is a spirit forward cocktail, a Negroni is a spirit forward cocktail, a martini. Some people do like their martinis shaken, but technically you're not supposed to shake spirit forward cocktails but do whatever you want because it's your cocktail. These are handy little peelers that cut very nicely and leave you with very little pith. Squeeze in half, twist along the edge, and give it a swirl. Beautiful little cocktail. Delicious. Like, being an old man sitting by a fireplace. Dreams can come true. Just make an old fashioned. <laughs> Ricotta is a great thing to make if you have any milk or cream going bad in the fridge. It's also a great thing to make if you want ricotta. Sure, you can buy ricotta and it's great, but making it fresh is just so much tastier. It's really easy to make. It's not gonna take us very long. You basically just need pasteurized milk, not ultra pasteurized or half and half, or just use straight cream and it's gonna be delicious. I like to use half and half because it's a nice middle of the road and it's cheaper. I am using four cups, otherwise known as a liter white vinegar or some kind of acid. I like to use vinegar because it is flavorless. Um, sometimes I'll use lemon juice in the same quantity and it just gets a little bit of lemoniness, which is great in ricotta anyway. And half the time I'm adding lemon to it anyway. We also need salt. 
I'm just gonna put half a teaspoon in and then after the ricotta is done, you can add more to it if you want. Sometimes I like to use ricotta in sweet situations, so I don't like to make it too salty out the gate so that, you know, I got options. You will need some kind of thermometer or very patient eyes to watch your pot because it cannot boil. This is a candy thermometer. The nice thing about this is that it beeps when it gets to 190. This is an instant read thermometer. This is your classic yep. little thermometer. Any of these will work. You need a heat proof bowl, a strainer, and some kind of cheesecloth, or this is like a, a nut milk bag that I cut in half a really thin tea towel and see like how thin this is. Something like this will work. Anyway, that's all the supplies and uh, let's make this. Turn your burner on to medium to low heat. Put your pot of milk on the stove. Get your cocktail, cause we're gonna be waiting for a little while. This half and half comes up to 190 degrees. If you're using your instant read thermometer, you can set it, stick it in the pot, add your salt. Pinch, maybe two, roughly half a teaspoon. You don't need to measure though. If you don't have a thermometer, you gotta sit next to this pot for a while. Any minute now. Turn the heat off, grab your vinegar or lemon juice, two to three tablespoons. It always seems to be a little bit different. You'll see it start to curdle. I think that I did two tablespoons for three cups last time I made this, so I'm gonna do three tablespoons for four cups. Just gonna give it a little bit of a stir. You can see it's already starting to curdle. You don't need to give it a vigorous stir. You just wanna give it a little encouragement to make sure that it's actually curdling. We're gonna let this sit for five minutes. There's about 30 seconds left on my timer. This is what it looks like, you can see that the curds have separated from the whey. And we're gonna strain this in um, now. Grab your heat proof bowl, your strainer, make sure it fits in your bowl. This, was, this could fit better, but it's okay. Grab your cheesecloth or whatever you're using. And you're just gonna pour this in here. Gently. You can let this sit for five minutes up to an hour if you want it really dry. And it also depends on what you're using it for. So what are you gonna do with your ricotta? Well, of course you could make lasagna, ravioli, really just any kind of pasta dish would be great. That's what I'll be doing with it. You can slice up some fresh fruit and have some honey and sea salt with it. Mm, that would be a delicious, delicious dessert. Actually, if you're gonna do that, you should bake the ricotta for a little bit and then do the fruit and the honey and the sea salt thing. Have a salad, have it as an appetizer. So many opportunities for ricotta. Ooh, you can put it on toast in the morning. You know, like avocado toast, like ricotta toast. Delicious. It's been about 15 minutes and it's looking nice and fluffy. It's about a cup and a half to two cups. Mm. It's so good. There's nothing better. It's still like 
warm. I would have pulled it maybe five minutes earlier. I'd say 10 minutes is the sweet spot. Five minutes is a little too wet, but it's still delicious and it's still gonna be great with my dinner. This is the way that I have leftover. I'm trying to come up with a cocktail I can make out of it, but that might be quite experimental, so. Stay tuned. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something. I hope you're gonna go make some ricotta. If you do, let me know how it turns out. Let me know what you eat with it. Tune in in the next couple weeks to see what I do with this ricotta. I'm not gonna promise it's gonna be the next episode, but like very soon. And with that, I will say goodbye. Thanks for watching.